Hello everybody, today I'm out here in San Diego and GM has just taken the wrappers off of the all new GMC Sierra HD, the biggest, baddest truck that GMC has ever made. They're telling us that this will have towing over 30,000 pounds. Of course, that's fifth wheel, of course. We have a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel under the hood and an all new 10 speed automatic transmission, which is a pretty big deal in the heavy duty segment because other than this, everybody else has a six speed, even the new Ram 3500. As you'd expect out of a next generation heavy duty truck, we have a longer wheelbase, we have a bigger cab in this generation, and the difference is really noticeable right back here in the rear seats. Now most of the interior is shared with the smaller pickup truck line, although General Motors tells us that not everything is shared directly, although definitely the overall design, overall theme is the same as the lower end trucks. There will be 2500 and 3500 models. We have dualies available as well and borrowed out of the 1500 series pickup trucks. We also have the availability of this multi-pro tailgate, which you can see in our upcoming review of the Sierra AT4. Speaking of the AT4 off-road trim, we now have a heavy duty version of the AT4, which gets this tweaked grill up front, a little bit different than the Denali we just looked at over there. And of course, all of the same sort of off-road upgrades that we find in the AT4 1500 moved on up to the HD model. From this angle, you'll definitely notice that the hood is definitely taller and squarer than the previous generation Sierra HD. This is almost approaching sort of big rig style proportions. Now under the hood, we don't know too many details just yet, but again, that 6.6 .6 liter diesel is returning for 2019. It will produce 445 horsepower and 910 pound feet of torque. An interesting twist with this generation of the HD Sierra is that the 10 speed automatic transmission is very similar to the 10 speed that we find under the hood of the 50 1500 series trucks, only it's been beefed up and they're licensing the Allison transmission name. The overall interior styling is definitely the same as the GMC 1500, so basically we have the same sort of styling cues that we've seen in the Sierra for some time. Overall, this interior honestly does not feel quite as premium as the new Ram 2500 and Ram 3500. GMC tells us that their primary mission with this interior was overall durability, and it is true that overall injection molded plastics are going to be a little bit more durable than the stitched leather interiors that we see in the top end versions of the Ram 2500 and Ram 3500. Also borrowed from the 1500 series pickup trucks is their innovative trailering app, which is very handy. There's an app on your smartphone that helps you go through the checklist for setting up your trailer. You can even use it to command the lights in the vehicle so you can make sure they're connected properly. And then coupled with that, we have a new trailer camera package, which has additional camera inputs versus what we see in the 1500 to really help you get a better idea of what's going on behind your trailer and around the trailer as well. We don't know when this is going to be going on sale, but we're told later in 2019. And of course, we don't know exactly how much it's going to cost, but expect it to be more than the 2018 model. One of the reasons that we have so many camera inputs on the Sierra HD is that they have some innovative digital manipulation technology going on. In addition to a 360 degree style camera, so you can see around the vehicle, we also have the availability to basically see through your trailer. Basically what the truck will do is it will take the various camera inputs on your trailer and on the vehicle, put them together, and then project an image in the infotainment system that looks like the trailer really isn't there as you're towing behind you. It helps you see around you.